about his first day with on Bell. Uh, man, just, uh, you know, I know we talked about your fight uh, coming up already. Um, man, you got, you got size on, uh, on, on him. Did you know that you kind of, uh, I don't know, were, were bigger guys than Hall was? Yeah, yeah. I mean, my whole, my whole life, like, well, not that my whole life, but like the last, I guess, eight, nine years in the NFL, I've been playing at 225. So I knew naturally I could be like a bigger guy. I obviously, I could make the weight, obviously, but I knew naturally I'm like kind of the bigger guy. Yeah. Do you feel that you'll get the credit that you deserve being the first pro fight and you're fighting a, a very experienced six martial artist? Do you think that with a win, boxing fans will or kind of take you serious? I know you kind of want to be taken serious in the boxing game. Do you think you'll get it with the win? Yeah, I think. Uh, I think. I think people will take me seriously. That just for the fact that like they know I'm taking on Uriah Hall, you know what I'm saying? So now people like, damn, you were serious. Like you were serious about fighting. I'm like, yeah, like that's why I'm fighting a guy like this. You know what I'm saying? Cause let people know like if I go down the direction of me just fighting straight, uh, like football players or just basketball players or whatever, I don't feel like people will take me as serious. I think my first fight is good to fight a football player, get my feet wet a little bit. But next fight, they asked for another football player like Frank Gore. I said no. I said no. Let me give me somebody else. And they said Uriah Hall. That's the name. Let, let's do that one because he's an MMA guy. He been fighting for years. He got respect in the fight game. If I want respect in the fight game, I got not only to share the ring with this guy, going there to beat him. Right. Credit to you, man. Credit to you for that. that. Uh, man, I know you're a big boxing fan. I'm sure you were bummed about the news that we all were. You know, Spence versus Crawford is not going to happen this year. Right, right, right. Dude, right. What, what was your thoughts when you when you heard? It was sad. It was sad. It was disappointing. It's boxing. Obviously, we always want to make the mega fights happen. I think at some point it's gonna happen, but um, I've been hearing a little bit like through the grapevine about Spence and uh and um Spence and uh Boots, Spence and Boots, and if that happens, that'll be the I'm good with that. Like cause Boots, <laughs> Boots is like one of them guys. People don't want to fight Boots. People don't want to fight Boots. He's like a you know what I'm saying. So if Spence and Boots happen, that'd be like I think to me one of the the best fight, like one of the better fights this year. Right. Well, it's definitely a good consolation prize. Right? Yeah. Boots is like great. Yes. I want to say he asked the IBF to enforce his, his mandatory. So like maybe. for real, like you know what I'm saying? Cause like Boots is like one of them guys. I feel like he been working so hard and he's been putting on so many shows. Man, he just need that, he need that, that showcase of like, all, right, all eyes on him so he can really show, you know what I'm saying? And I think like, if you get a fight with Fitz, uh, or a fight with Spence, that'd be a good opportunity for him, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I have to get opportunity for Spence too, because, you know what I'm saying? So Spence, like, yeah, Spence been around, people try to knock him off, I'm still here. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Man, uh, a big fight, you just mentioned Boots. I know a lot of people kind of put uh, Virgil Ortiz's name in with Boots, because they're kind of that next generation. Uh, who, who wins that fight, do you think, between uh, Virgil and, uh, and Boots? And and Boots? Yeah. I I mean, I like Boots over everybody. I'm going to be honest. Like, I like Boots. Boots is my favorite one. Like, he my top guy. Like, so I'll say Boots. Yeah, I'll yeah, say Boots. Yeah. Like, no, he's yeah, like, yeah. skill-wise, skill-wise, I think, uh, I think, like, he's the most skillful guy. Like, I mean, I, it, me, that's my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their opinions, but I just think, like, when I watch him, it's like nothing he really can't do. Right. Uh, big fight, again, you know, rumors, who, you know, nothing's official until it's official, right? But, uh, Tank versus Ryan, it sounds like January 17th. I, I hope that fight happens. Wow. That's gonna be a great fight. Uh, Cause it's, it's two totally different styles. You got a bigger, taller fighter versus a short knockout artist. So one guy gotta get in, one guy gotta keep another guy on the outside. They both been successful at every fight they've been having with every other opponent. So that's gonna be a fight that gotta happen. I pray to God that happens. All right, man. We, yeah. we need them, man. We, we need, need, we, fights, we need those fights. We need those fights. You know what I'm saying? And I think like boxing is starting to get to that because it's like people starting to get called out on it. Like, oh, you don't want to take the big fights. You know what I'm saying? So, so people starting to step up to the plate and take on them big fights. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, if you lose, people still gonna respect you because you fought another great opponent. You know what I'm saying? So it's like go out there and challenge yourself. Right. Exactly, man. Maybe on uh, it's great. I love talking boxing with you, brother, because you can tell you know what you're talking about. Yeah. Best of luck on Saturday, but tell the fans though, where they can follow you and all that. Hey, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Le'Veon Bell, and that's easy. Obviously, tune in October 29th, Le'Veon Bell versus Yard Hall. It's going to be a show. Um, if I don't put on the show, I, I don't even know to, I'm going to put on the show. Just tune in. Actually, if you don't tune in, if you don't tune in, that's your loss. <laughs> Saturday, if you get a win on Saturday, right, there's a lot of NFL season left. I mean, can, can, nah, nah, it's it. It's nah. in the rear view? Yeah, it's over. It's over. It, I, literally be like the perfect opportunity like they gotta be like literally only playoffs and they need a running back and i'll have to be starting the starting running back like i'm not playing no more than like three four games no right, right. hell no like i'm a football i'm cool all right. i appreciate you brother